our first trip with the boat every spring is to take it from Portland, Connecticut, which is just downriver of Middletown, and bring it to Saybrook, where North Cove is, and that's where we spend our summer. You'll notice that um, in some of the images I'm about to show you, they start at Haddam and not at Portland. That's because around Haddam I dropped my camera into the water.
after a bit of a rest at North Cove, we joined in the North Cove Yacht Club Thursday night race. It was from the mouth of the river, roughly, out to the um, red buoy off Cornfield Point, shown here. It was only a couple of miles, a short race, and I really don't have much film of it, but just to give you a taste. I don't want to tighten up. Yeah, go ahead and tighten up because they're crushing each other in the wind. Okay, tighten up. Tighten up. I'm trying, I'm trying. Uh, <laughs> darn. Not good for legs. <laughs> you want me to crank? Oh, it's a Tuesday. <laughs> you want me to crank? That? Yeah, I want you to crank. <laughs> Madigan's falling off a little bit, so we can too. This is the part where all the stuff falls down. <laughs> we finished second out of six, which I thought was really good. It was a nice start to the um, racing series. Did I mention it's really hot? It's really hot. Well, the rain came. A little warm, not as warm as it was, but I had to close up the hatches so that uh, nothing got wet. And uh, I think I'm going to tackle the Mac Pack. It's the kind of sail cover we have. I think it's warm enough where I can go out in the rain. Uh, I'll know shortly. No, no, that's really cold. Most states in this area have a, um, a program about um, sewage and boating. Connecticut, New York, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, they all have... Um, the state pays for services that pump out the um, holding tanks of boats so that people don't dump overboard in, you know, in their waters. They want the water to be clean. So they give you these little flags, right? And it comes with a, a little container on here. And what you do is you open it up, drop it on the floor, pick it up. Now you have your container and you put your your tip inside there for the guys that come around and uh, pump out your um, your holding tank. The, the pump um, access is on the outside of the boat. So they just pull up next to you in their boat and unscrew the cap and they hook up their big vacuum cleaner and <laughs> suck it right out. And um, so the state pays them for that, but we leave them tips because it's a thankless job. Anyway, so I'll be hanging this up on the railing of the boat right near where the the holding tank access port is. And then I will call them on the phone on Monday morning and tell them that this is there in, um, in North Cove and where the boat is and they will come and, and take care of it. It just happens like magic. And when I come, come down to the boat next Friday, it'll be to a nice empty holding tank. So my daughter and I are ready to go on our sailing trip. There it is, ready and waiting. That doesn't seem like a incredibly important task, but when you forget to do it, it becomes very important. That building is the North Cove Yacht Club. A lot of nice people in there. So I really don't want to go work on the on the red green running lights in the rain. Um, plus, I was hoping to talk to uh, my my daughter's father-in-law, who was an electrical engineer, who at one time in his life had a job doing boat wiring. He's very very knowledgeable, and um, 
about how, how to test it properly. And unfortunately, um, I don't have a phone. My phone is my camera, which I dropped in the water. So I should have one next week, but that doesn't help me today. So I borrowed this from a neighbor, this grease gun. The reason being is that the rudder post, which is accessible through the back lazarette in the cockpit, um, has a, a fitting, a grease fitting, and it needs a little bit of grease. So my neighbor generously allowed me to borrow it. It's like I let rain get on it. So I'll have to wipe that off later. But um, that should be something, it should be fairly straightforward that I could accomplish. Let's get some grease into the grease fitting. Uh, you'd think, I don't know, I've never done one. So uh, old boat didn't have a grease fitting. Let's try it. So because I have to pull all kinds of things out of the lazarette and everything's gonna get wet, I'm gonna put the cover up. I'm gonna spray the zippers so that, because our zippers are hard to move, so we'll do that. Whoa. Should've thought of this hours ago. Maybe we should try the side curtains. Haven't really tried these yet. Again, you know, I got this boat in August, and I, you know, I keep looking over here, but the camera's, are, the camera's over there. All right, um, I got this in August, and uh, haven't tried all the cool features out yet. Is that the inside or the outside? I have no idea. I'm going to assume that it goes, it goes this way. down my back of my neck. Okay, well this whole exercise was to get the um, rear lazarette hatch cover covered and so I could put some of the stuff from there on the seats without, without getting everything all soaked. So let's give it a shot. To bring you with me. All right, how we turn this thing? All right, we're too close to see anything. Uh, something under me. Oh, what is it? Oh, control cables. What can you see here? You see the wheel. All right. I'm reaching in the cockpit and turning it. That did not work well at all. Everything's really blurry. Anyway, I'm getting out of here. You see the rain above us. It's coming in. <laughs> it's coming in here. Oh, my hair. My hair, oh my god, my hairstyle is ruined. Oh. So, some familiar struggles. Here, let me show you. So that is collecting water. I have been looking for this radio for three weeks. It was in the glove box of the car. And when I saw it, I remembered thinking to myself at the time, I have to remember that I put this in the glove box. <laughs> well, anyway, found it before vacation, that's what counts. It's Sunday, just arrived. This was on the cockpit floor, which means they already came. So I don't even have to call them tomorrow. They beat me to it. Good service. There was a nice breeze when I arrived but it's gone and the temperature is <laughs> temperature is climbing 
It's getting warm in here. So the weather forecast said this was going to be the worst of the two days, but uh, so far it's been nothing but sunshine. So I think I'm going to um, change my clothes and then... Um, so I think I'm going to change my clothes and then see if I can um, get the reef lines rigged and the um, maybe the um, um, mainsail cover on. Got the sail cover on, it's called the Mac Pack. It's a bit misadjusted, but it's all functional. And the jack lines are in properly. And I'm hearing a lot of thunder now, so I'm getting out of here. I am getting out of here. So I spent a long time getting not very much done. Um, but I see the thunderstorms are coming. Yesterday I thought I could, you know, go between the storms. I ended up sitting on the boat in the rain for three hours. But I did find things to do, as, as you see in the earlier part of the video. Um, but it's late, and late enough, that I'm not going to take the chance. I'm going to call it a day and go. Kind of expect them to be closer to 13, but I'll ask somebody. So when I leave... I have to remember to switch the batteries off, which I remember about 50% of the time. Um, when I say remember, I mean I have to usually, you know, go back downstairs after I lock the door because I think of it then. Uh, and closing the windows, which I remember pretty much all the time. There was an occasion I left the bathroom window open. I'm sorry, the head window open uh, twice, I think. But... That's the head window. It's in the shower area, so it doesn't matter. So these hatches have you know, hand levers on them. And then there's this one. I'm gonna show you. There we go. So now the boat is closed up. Keep the curtains closed just to keep the heat down. And um, then I have to remember to close the window in the Dodger, which is this thing here. Because in the cockpit, when the wind comes straight at, straight uh, down the boat, opening this window in the in the Dodger makes it so much cooler. So it's really nice having that window. And about half the time, I'm right at this point, and I realized I didn't take the lock out with me. But this time I did. I don't know if you can hear the thunder in the background. It's not very pronounced, but I can hear it. It's off of the distance. The question is, do we make it to the car before, before that all breaks loose? So as you can see, we're getting off. Can you hear that? Probably not. But it's thunder. If I leave the ladder in the water, it'll start to grow. All kinds of algae and seaweed and whatnot pretty quickly in here. A lot of uh, a lot of life in this cove. Here's a little panoramic view of the town dock area with the um, dinghy storage racks and drive up as well and the toilet and dumpster. Everything you need. Can you hear the thunder? <sighs> well, I made it before the rain starts. The thunder is getting louder and closer. Every now and then you win. Except for 
Remember how I told you that I have to be careful about when I lock up not to forget anything? Well, I left my wallet on the boat. But I'll be back on Thursday. I'm not going anywhere else, so I'll take a chance. I'm not going to get stopped by the police on the way home. And if I do get stopped, hopefully they're in a good mood.